Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today and discuss really and why this company is so special to me and our team. My name is Neil Seaman, and I'm the founder and CEO of Rewi, which trades as RIWI on the TSX Venture Exchange. Rewi is a global survey and prediction technology company. We help businesses and governments understand what people in any part of the world want, fear, see, and feel. Our patented technology helps clients make predictions about how to spend their money and time for the best impact, such as where to focus to stop violence. Riwi started as an idea in 2006 when my brother and I were frustrated with how websites we owned uh, to advertise to people in Africa and the Middle East and elsewhere were not making money for us or enough money. So I, I then realized that we could fill a pressing business need by using these lapsed web domains that weren't making much money for us and combine them for country specific surveys and message tests in countries where there was a very poor information about what people wanted or were concerned about what we're talking about. So drawing on my public health background, uh, we won a patent and in 2009, we used our approach to report where and why across the world the H1N1 pandemic was harming people. We also predicted and got a lot of attention uh, for having predicted the sudden fall of the Mubarak regime in February 2011. I focused on the business for several years uh, proving out our technology and winning some great early customers like Freedom House and the U.S. State Department. And really became a public company in August 2015. But it wasn't until 2017 I hired a full-time CFO, CTO, a head of research, a full customer service team, and a sales team to grow the business further and really get, get rocking. 2018 was our first year of being a profitable company. Very proud of that. We repeated that success in 2019 and in 2020, growing revenue, profits, and cash in the bank for three consecutive years. Now, from an accounting perspective, I'm also proud to say that we're a pretty boring company with simple financials. Uh, we have a strong balance sheet with no debt. In 2020, we increased our revenues by over 47% compared to 2019 by investing in the right people and processes and landing the right clients who see our technology as much better than any competitor for what we do. So what do we do? We focus on what we are best at in the world. So first, gaining investable insights for banks and asset managers from people who don't answer any other kinds of surveys or message tests except really. Second, understanding fast changing public health risks. Third, monitoring trends all across China. And fourth, helping government clients understand which of their educational and humanitarian efforts are working best and which are falling flat, which are failing. So these are our four sales portfolios, areas of work. And on top of that, we're always on rapid response for our security clients and G7 nations to use our technology to monitor and predict violent extremism in any part of the world under long-term renewable multi-year contracts. We continue to invest in people, in smart, creative people to improve our company's value proposition. We invested in technology to integrate with data resellers and data platforms like Bloomberg, Battlefin, Eagle Alpha, and Noma. We also invested in tactical marketing and product to make really more known and easier to buy in those four portfolio focus areas that I just spoke about. And we also invested again in people and expert personnel to teach us, to help teach our, our clients and us how new insights in the data we're finding uh, can help us understand more about our clients' needs and can expand business with those clients. So think of us as a kind of Booz Allen or McKinsey of global data collection, but without the same people overhead. So our focus areas have addressable data markets that are relatively greenfield or growing, like China data or like public health risk data. 
Rewe provides solutions for these growing unmet data collection needs. So currently we're at 25 people. The Rewe team has 25. We're divided among Vancouver, Toronto, Chicago, Philadelphia, and Washington, DC. And that positions us well to win recurring business in all our sales areas. From a sales and technology perspective, we now have equal efforts and personnel dedicated to capture business across all those four portfolio areas equally. Our clients are global in nature and they're data savvy. Uh, we work for several of the largest financial institutions in the world, and so far most of these are US based. We also work for data sophisticated clients on a long-term basis like uh, the U.S. State Department, CDC funded initiatives in public health, the World Bank, and one G7 central bank. We work for top research universities uh, like Harvard University on a long-term basis. We work for risk organizations and one of our end clients is uh, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. You know, how do we win clients? It can take six to 12 months to acquire a new client at Rewe. Getting to buyers, I'm happy to say, is, is a lot quicker now. Since we have had positive performance reviews by amazing clients that other data collection firms often cannot service, either because they don't have the scalable technology we have or because they, they, they just can't reach all parts of the globe. Uh, that we can without collecting personally identifiable information. Our clients care increasingly about privacy and we take privacy and data anonymity very seriously. So we're growing our partnerships with data platforms and data resellers, which we did not have a couple of years ago. For certain clients, we do occasionally experience delays in revenue recognition, especially on long-term contracts where multiple partners like university partners need to sign off on different technical milestones within any large contract. So we make our money through monthly subscriptions, uh, annual contracts, multi-year contracts, and occasionally short-term, highly strategic contracts that turn into long-term deals. We service the client through a dedicated customer service excellence team who ensure the message tests or surveys that we work on perform well on our platform. And we do apply special services like extra layers of uh, privacy. We deploy the surveys or message tests very quickly in field, sometimes in a few hours, less than 24 hours. And the data are immediately live and accessible to our client using our online dashboard. We do have check-ins with our clients to answer any questions and provide them novel insights, which can then lead to longer or renewed contracts or a larger number of seat licenses. So the future of our business is really about expansion, expansion into new markets, deepening relationships with new clients in the US, Asia, EU, and other markets. In all our sales portfolios, um, like public health, I'll use that as an example, I see multiple lines or many business lines blossoming. So for example, we're doing a lot of work tracking opinions and message testing to ensure access and uptake of vaccines for COVID-19. But in that process, we're also now starting to see rising demand in the private and public sector for our work in other urgent areas of public health, like tracking concerning worrying trends in substance use disorders, drug use, since we can measure uh, the needs of, of homeless people, international migrant populations, and people in war and conflict zones, we also collect data that our, our clients desperately want to make the world more prosperous. So what's really key to winning a new business at Rewe is what I call a relentless focus on, on sales processes and always delivering positive, tangible impact for our customers. The sales leads that come from our internal research, which we then make public, are different, I feel, than traditional marketing generated leads at other data companies. For example, we can collect and do collect data all across China, all across rural and urban areas of China, which is completely differentiated in the data marketplace. We do that in real time. We collect 
first person proprietary data. So we do not rely on third party or open source data feeds to generate or bring together, stitch together our insights. And our movement toward more syndicated data feeds and finance that connect directly to specific talk, uh, talk, stocks or tickers to help traders with investable insights also makes Rewe a, a company that buyers like to take a meeting with, uh, even if they may not buy immediately. So we're proud, you know, we're proud too of our strong balance sheet. Uh, we care about healthy revenues and profit. Uh, we carry no debt. We care about year over year growth and profitability. Uh, we continue to invest our cash to ensure long-term growth and vitality. We do measure other indicators of business health like recurring revenues, client expansion, and client diversity in new markets, all with a view to improving our, our financial position and also to having that positive impact on the world. Um, in terms of allocation of capital, we like to allocate our capital efficiently for our shareholders while at the same time delivering meaningful, measurable value to our clients. And that's how we expand. Really data, you know, is data that helps save lives. It helps ensure democracy thrives and ensures that businesses uh, are resilient. When our clients see that powerful impact, uh, they increase our business with us. Now, as we continue to grow, uh, we announced on April 13th that I will transition from having the dual CEO and chairman role. I will remain heavily, heavily engaged in this company I founded. Um, and my focus will be on sales, contributions and product and new service offerings to clients. So this is a very thoughtful and careful succession plan I am leading to hire a new CEO. Uh, and I feel that I know that improves value to our shareholders and to our clients. I thank uh, you know, everyone, uh, TSX, um, everyone, uh, and please come visit our website at riwi.com where you can find additional information, including research, including new insights about different countries and trends in all of our four focus areas of growth, that being China, the global economy, public health, and citizen safety. Thank you. I'm Neil Seaman. Have an amazing day.